My name's Damo. It sounds cliche as fuck, but I was born to fly planes, you know. An average day is a lot of flying. The misconception, I guess, that constantly firing missiles and dodging missiles and popping flares and dropping bombs. Really, a lot of the time you spend, you know, flying, chilling with the clouds. Some things just come naturally to you, you know, like a an attraction to little boys. Um, for me, it's magical with the aircraft, you know. I handle that joystick really good, you know. It just, it just happens, it just fits in right in your hand. And you just, what you want to happen just happens. Shit, he's on our six! Do some of that pilot shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> like that? <laughs> we took some heavy damage. Five o'clock. Nine o'clock. Fuck, the time's changing quick, hey. One o'clock. Three o'clock. Fuck, you make up your mind. Do you know how to read a clock or not? <laughs> well, everyone knows women can't drive. It's not hard to imagine what would happen if they, if we were just letting them operate weaponry like this, you know, military aircraft and weaponry. That's why we have all these safety checks. We follow, make sure we follow all the procedures, and safety checks, and we're professional at all times. I'm about to slam on that deck hard, and I slammed on your mum last night. You know what's funny? You said that on one two four. Even for the best pilot in the world, um, there's always going to be some mistake or accident or malfunction that happens. Oh, this is the taxiway. This isn't the fucking runway. Even though it will never be perfectly safe, we always strive to, even if we can just make it 1% safer, um, that's, that's, that's the main objective. Did I tell you I'm the best pilot in the world? Being the best pilot in the world, I can learn quite quickly and quite efficiently a lot of other aircraft. Like the F-18, of course, which is what I'm thinking now. I am an Aussie. Um, that's why I started with the uh, F-18 because Australia uses the F-18. I mean, like normally you have, you know, one person. A person will be assigned to an aircraft for multiple years, as I understand. Something like that, right? And me, uh, I, I, I fly, I'm flying an aircraft, a different aircraft, you know, almost every week or sometimes uh, multiple a day. You know? I think we can all agree that war is terrible, and lives are always a horrible thing to lose um, most of the time. For all those uh, Iraqis and ISIS and you know all them, all them fellas, it's their opinion that they're fighting for the uh, they're fighting for the right side. Unfortunately, their opinion is wrong. It's clearly shown that their opinion is wrong. Evidence given by the missiles and bombs that keep wiping them out, you know, delivered to them every day by express posts. Fuck, that's hot. Fuck, I love delivering freedom, man. When you drop a bomb and it doesn't kill anyone, it's not as fun. I mean, that's just, yeah. People reckon that I fucking uh, sucked some admiral or general's dick or a bunch of them in order to uh, get the position I'm in. Yeah, there's some rumors that my blowjobs are hell good too. At the end of the day, though, it is jealousy, mate. I'm here because. I am the best pilot in the world. All I can do is try and drag me down. I'm just gonna go soaring, no matter what. I'm gonna spread my wings, go soaring, no matter how much they try and drag me down. Whoa! What the fuck is this?
Now I made the call that I was coming to land and um, uh, we both forgot to indicate and so yeah there's a bit of a confusion on whose runway it was. This is a mistake by me, I forgot to indicate when I was uh, entering the runway and turning. So I can see why that guy uh, landing would have uh, yeah, been a bit uh, confused there. I had people point out that I love flying a bit too much. Fuck! Oh! Fuck! Oh! But um... Oh. I really don't think you can love flying too much. Oh.